Hello YouTube, this is me again with a new tutorial for you. Today we're going to make a kind of a Japanese tree thing like this. I think it's going to be a pretty long tutorial, but it's fun to make, I think. So uh, let's uh, start. Uh, you begin with a sphere, Click, yeah. I'm clicking here. Uh, with a sphere, excuse me, with a disc, I mean. So you take a disc and go to rotation segments. Here you take six. And um, disc segments, you only, yeah, you don't need them, so uh, type zero. Okay, so um, this is the base of the whole tree. Um, now you have to click on disk and make it, make it editable by hitting C on your keyboard. So hit C and go to the selection tool, click on this box over here and select the top of the disk. Um, now we have to extrude the, dic uh, the disk, excuse me. Um, uh, and I do it by hitting D on my keyboard, but but you can also do it here in Mesh. Is it Mesh? Yeah, in uh, Mesh, Create Tools and Extrude. But uh, I do it just with hitting D on my keyboard. So you hit D on your keyboard, and you you take it. Up a bit like this. And then you take the scale tool and you scale it a little bit down, a little bit. So um, then you take the move tool and put a little bit to here. Yeah, like this is good. Then again, hint D. Right? Oh. Can hit D on your keyboard and extrude it again a little bit up like this. Now you don't have to scale it down. You press D again, and we keep um, we keep uh, extruding this. Um, is a disk until we have a um, have tree. So uh, I told you this was going to be pretty long to start. Move a bit to the left, scale it. Oh, scale it a little bit down. Maybe turn it a bit like this. Oh, yeah, like this, and then D again. Extrude, drag to the left, take the turning tool, turn it a bit like this, scale it a little bit down, not too much. Like this, hit D again, extrude, oh, extrude, move it a bit to the left, mid down, turn it a bit, scale it a bit down. So this is how the process of making this tree. But yeah, I'm going to to do it a bit faster. So
Yeah. You have to do this over and over again till you have that. Yeah. Um, S shape of your tree. Wait. Um, till you have this shape. Do it till here or something. Or till here. And then you. Then you um, start with the um, how you call it the um, oh my god um, the um, I don't know how you talk how you call it in English. I'm sorry, <laughs> my English is not very good. So, um, yeah, you will see what I mean. Um, like you take a polygon at the side and then you extrude it a bit like this. Um, like this and like this. Turn it a bit, extrude it a bit, extrude it again, okay, a little bit down, move it, turn it, extrude it again, scale it down. Like this, scale it down, and you keep doing this and do it again, like here, here, and if you're ready with that, you can um, take uh, hyper nerves and drag the disc into the hyper nerves. And then you will get those smooth forms of a tree like you have in the other model. And um, to have some um, other, now how you, how you call it, um, wait till I'll translate it. Branches, okay. Thank you, Google. So, um, for uh, the other branches, you can take a um, tool like this and mesh, I think. Create tools and matrix extrude. Click on it and You can click on it and then drag it a bit like you do with the other extrude and it gives you like branches on an easy way. See? And yeah, here you can change all things like um, the Rotation, see? The yeah, rotation. You can change all those things. And if you're ready with modeling a uh, rough form of your tree, like I will show you, um, like this, it's pretty much work to make it, but it was worth it, I think. So, uh, if you're ready with this rough form, see all these polygons, you just 
take your form and drag it into the hypernerves. So, uh, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. And uh, this was my tutorial for today. If you have any questions, you can ask them. Bye.